Greetings everyone and welcome to today's latest Megaset build videos that I create for your enjoyment. Today's build I have is one focusing around the Devil Joe's Sword and Shield called Fatal Bite, but we're going to be creating a build around it that will reward you for your aggressiveness with more power by using the Resentment skill and making you a powerhouse against any monster you face with a constant flow of damage you'll be producing. This build is one I like to call the Ravager build for the damage increase you'll get while sacrificing your health in the meantime. This set here is actually a versatile and strong build that I would say is slightly different compared to the other sets you see in game, or by many other players, simply because of how all the skills within the current set work off each other, and how it all works into your playstyle, as well as the damage you'll receive will be based off how much red is from your health bar by triggering the resentment skill, and then receiving another buff from your agitator skill which will increase the constant flow of damage you'll have which will benefit this build a lot as you can sword and shield will provide you the mobility and defense to allow you to stay within the fight much longer and keep attacking without being carted or two and it also allows you to not lose out on valuable damage movements meaning you can combo your monster over and over and over again as long as you trigger the right conditions it's a set that i can see will work well for many people if you stay mobile and dodge the lethal attacks but stay aggressive on the monster and not back off unless your health gets low so kind of like a glass cannon build now there is a catch of course, and the catch to this is that you can't use no health augmentation on your weapon to recover your health, as it goes against what you're trying to achieve and goes against what the resentment skill does. So overall, you're going to be playing a slightly suicidal build that can make or break depending on how aggressive and reactive you are, but you can heal yourself using potions, life powder or health boosters and get your health all the way back up again and repeat the process. Trust me on this, it's a risky but worthwhile build to actually try out. So the build will consist of the following skills that will provide you the damage boost but at the same time the necessary defense and other skills that make the build work. Also my weapon, the Fear to Bite Sword and Shield, is augmented with a affinity arc. So it reduces the minus affinity from minus 20 down to minus 10. And then I left the second slot open for you guys to decide on what you want to add on. But recommendation wise, you can go with a slot augmentation and slot in a fortified jewel that will benefit you if you cut as it will increase your affinity and damage a attack augmentation which will give you a bit of damage increase or you could go with a defense augmentation and receive a plus 10 in defense and a chance to negate large amount of damage at random every time a monster hits you but anyways here are the skills i have health boost 3 that will allow me to increase my health from 100 to 150 and resentment 3 which will give me a plus 15 buff in damage but only when my health has red recoverable parts which will work very well when combined with my health boost 3 as more health means i can stay longer in fights I make good use of the damage taken and use my sword and shield to actually block when let me a small amount of red to use. Next we have Agitator 3 which will give me a plus 9 in infinity and attack by plus 12. Weakness exploit 3 for that extra 50% damage increase when attacking a monster's weak point. Handicraft 3 to increase a weapon's sharpness as it already has white sharpness so we might as well go all the way and get that extra 1.32 damage multiplier. And lastly we have Maximum Might 2 that will help with negating the minus infinity from our weapon but at the same time also offers a 20% free affinity buff to a loadout. We also have the bludgeoner skill because of our 2 piece Diablo set active, which increases our damage even more every time we use sharpness. And this works very well for sword and shield as you can go through sharpness very fast. So this kind of plays within our common play style with resentment, health boost, agitator, and now bludgeoner. Overall, this set will give you an attack value of 329, a defense of 413 and a risky but very rewarding set of skills that will allow you to play aggressively to your heart's content or until you make a mistake and get carted. So for the playstyle, I would recommend once you engage with the monster, you put on the Roxanian Mantle to negate the monster's roar and also allow you to tank on small to large damage from the monster, which is what you want to make good use of as you want to trigger the resentment skill as much as possible, but not too much as possible as overdoing it may lead to your death. Your plan here is to be aggressive on the monster, no holding back, just get in, put your mantle on and attack like crazy. And what this would do is it will allow you to effectively combo your strong attacks with your resentment skill, so you'll be doing more damage in your outrun. But this requires you to get chip damage at least, so you can activate your resentment skill successfully. At the same time, once the monster gets angry, it will then trigger your agitated skill, which will further buff you for your damage. And, well, yeah, just keep attacking and watch as your damage number increases. With the right conditions and other buffs chucked in, such as Canteen Buffs, Demon Drug, and your Palico buffing you as well, your base attack value can hit a total of 380 plus, maybe even 400 plus if you, like I said, put in the right conditions. And doing continuous combos on a monster can lead into the 100 plus damage area, 
which is shockingly good for a Sword and Shield build based around a risky playstyle that not many people will actually talk about or play around with. You also want to make sure you pay attention to your health though, as you can get carried away or in an instance get hit by a hard attack and could potentially put you into a life or death situation which 95% of the time leads to death. So make sure you stock up on health potions, especially mega potions, max potions and in case you get carted, ancient potions. If you really don't want to stop fighting and use your potions to heal then I recommend you use a health booster like shown in the video as this will allow you to recover your health quickly and basically up to max but it allows you to stay within the fight and continuously attack a monster. And lastly, I also recommend you add on the fortify skill to your armor for that extra damage upon deaths, but only if you feel like it's worth using, as you may not need it at all if you're a well skilled player that knows the understanding of a monster. I would say for players that are not used to this kind of setup, I recommend that you put the fortify skill on because it will benefit you, and in many ways you're still being rewarded for messing up. For players that are well skilled, feel like they may at times be unlucky, whack it on. But if you don't want to, it leaves you a slot empty for augmentating. And that everyone is the build. It's a very powerful build when the right conditions are met and can be rewarding to those who truly know how to go all out berserk on a monster. But the risk to having a quick and constant damage may be too high for some and could lead to an early death. Or if you don't want to play a risky playstyle and you just want high damage, then you could just go with the Doba, Kaiser, Nergiande set that everyone and their mothers generally run. But I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. If you enjoy the content, then leave a like and a sub as I would appreciate a lot if you do. But once again, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.